Hi, it's Danny here from the Whiteboard Blog, and in this video, I want to take a quick look at the version history, which is a new feature for Google Jamboard. Now, I'm a big fan of Google Jamboard. I've been using it quite a lot in the past year as I've been moving all my lessons across to Zoom. It's a great tool for collaboration if you're not able to, to be in the same room together. One of the problems of Jamboard is, unlike some of the other Google tools like Slides or Sheets, you can't go back and rewind the version history. So as people make changes to it, those changes stick. And there's just been an update and that version history is now there. Let's take a quick look at how to find it. Um, to get the version history up in the top right corner on the three dots, and you can click there and go down to version history. I've restored this back to what I want it to be, which is basically a blank template, which I then use my students to draw um, body organs on and they can sort of share it with each other. So I've actually got a, a version of this called the blank template and I've given that a name, which is quite cool. So I can click on the three dots here and I can click on rename. Let's call that blank template. So that's the blank template. Then obviously what I've been doing is playing around with it a little bit. Now all the changes are made by me at the moment. So it's got my name here, but I would see students' names on there if they've been making changes. Um, and so here are some versions that we've done. We can talk about it, I can share them, I can print this off as a PDF. Um, what I could do would be to take that version now and I can make a copy which will save what we're doing and just give it a new file. Keep that there, I can name that after the class that I've been doing it with. What I can now do is go back to my blank template because I want it back to being blank and I can just go to restore this version. So I can either click on the three dots there and restore this version or go up to the top here and click on restore this version. I don't want to do that, I'll do restore and that will then put my file back to its template version back where it was when I, when I first started. So there's a really handy little tool. If you want to make templates that you then use with different classes, trying to restore the page was, was a real pain. With this now, you can create a, a template version. But all your slides are ready to go. You can then use it with a class. They can add their comments, add extra bits um, and pieces, do whatever they want to do on there, and then um, I can restore that back to the master file uh, when I want to use it again with a different class. Unlike uh, Google Docs, it doesn't show me exactly what each person has been doing. I can't see who drew what line, I can't see who added what box, but you can sort of step back through the, the version and see how it looked at various stages and do a little bit of detective work, maybe and work out if a, if a major change was made. You can possibly guess who did it. So that's version history. It's new to Google Jamboard. If you've got Google Jamboard, it should be there already. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it useful. Please, as always, uh, like, subscribe, um, and comment if you want to ask me any questions, and I'll see you again with another video soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.